welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am very pumped to be filming this video today. It's Monday night. I just got off work. Um, I'm about to put all this stuff on my face just so I have to shower and take it all off. But I'm so excited because over the weekend, it was Halloween, I went to a birthday party, but it was not an ordinary birthday party. It was a costume birthday party and I love to dress up and more importantly I love to do crazy things with makeup it's so much fun for me so I decided to go as a mermaid and I will insert pictures here so it's so much fun um, I got some questions about how I did the scales on my face um, just to be perfectly clear, I am not the person that came up with this concept or how to do this, um, but I will say all I did was go on Pinterest and I typed in mermaid makeup and I saw a girl holding a pair of fishnet stockings and I was like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So I didn't follow any sort of instruction because if you know me, I, I have zero patience for pretty much anything. I don't like to cook, I don't like to bake, I don't like doing arts and crafts because I can't sit and follow a step-by-step -step guide. So I just kind of saw a girl, she put a fishnet to her face and I was like, okay, scales, got it, done. And so I just decided to wing it. Um, so I'm just really excited. I just thought this would be fun to film and I kind of want to transform myself into a mermaid again because I had so much fun doing it over the weekend. So if you would like to learn how to transform yourself into a mermaid, please stick around. All right, so what you're going to need to do this is a some sort of fishnet stocking. Um, I found these wig caps off of Amazon and they seem to do the trick. Um, just anything that has some stretch in it, but you want to make sure that they have like the fishnets like this. Um, I wouldn't get one that has bigger like holes in it. Also going to need um, whatever eyeshadow palette you wanna use. Um, if you wanna make your scales colorful, like I personally am, I'm going to be using the Mini Breaker palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And for the eyes, I will be using the Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. All these colors just are super bright and fun and they just scream mermaid to me. Whatever eyeshadow brushes you wanna use for your eyes and you are going to need to use rounded flat head brushes to do the scales. So make sure you have some brushes that are kind of like this. I mean, I'm sure you can use other brushes, but for me, this is just kind of like what worked best. Um, Cause when we do this, well, you'll see, you'll see. But that's just kind of what worked best for me. I did try using regular eyeshadow brushes when I did this, um, when I did like a trial run and it didn't work out as well. So I definitely recommend using the, just the rounded flathead brushes. All right, so I already have my foundation and concealer on, so we are going to just go ahead. Oh, and I have my mermaid shirt on. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and dive right into doing the scale. So here we go. Okay, so there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Um, however you wanna position your fishnet on your head, you have at it. Um, so I'm just picking up these two purple shades from the mini Jawbreaker palette and as you can see I am not brushing or sweeping. I am dabbing the color onto my face. That is super important to get this desired look. You need to dab it, do not brush or else it's not going to pick up the uh, fishnet and you're just going to have whatever color you choose, you're just going to have that on your face. So be sure to dab. Obviously, do this scale effect on any part of your body that you want. Um, like I'm doing it here on my neck. You can do it um, on your arms, your legs, your feet, your hands, whatever. And then I just went in with some eyeshadow primer and I did this colorful eye look. Um, I didn't really have anything planned. I was just kind of going by what colors I saw and what I liked. So there's really no rhyme or reason for what I did. I was just creating which is always super fun.
Gaga House Labs eyeliner. Um, I really like it. I like how it feels in my hand. Super easy to apply. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive. You can get it on Amazon. I think it was 20 bucks, which I guess for eyeliner is kind of pricey, but for what it is and how good it works, I think it's worth it. And then I just went in with some mascara because I do not use false lashes for the fact that every time I try putting false lashes on, it ends up horribly, horribly wrong. So I will just go in with good old regular mascara. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking just a sparkly cream shade and I'm just putting that on my lid and then I'm just, again, dabbing it over my scales. Again, if you want some more sparkle, do not rub it in where you get the scales. Just dab. Everybody say it with me. Just dab. Okay, so then I went in with this golden green highlighter by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I just kind of put that around where the scales were because it was green and green makes me think of mermaids. This is my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. This is the shade Purple Urkel by Jeffree Star Cosmetics yet again. Anyone notice the theme here? So I'm putting that on my lips and then I went in with my finger and I took that purple sparkly shade yet again and put that over the liquid lips to give it a shimmer effect. And then this is the coolest hair tool I've ever seen. It is a crimper so I guess it's not that cool but <laughs> I really like it it does my hair super fast it gives it that like effortless beachy wave look and it's really cool it was pretty inexpensive on Amazon I'll link it below if anyone is interested in it but it definitely gives you those mermaid beach waves and it's super simple and easy to use which is always a plus I just popped in these little starfish clips that I got off of Amazon and there we go. channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!